castle. Definitely. But the cat thought it was food earlier. Mm. Anyway, I can't find the third thing. Let's see here. What? How about that one? Yeah. Yeah, go on. Right. It's hot in here. And look what now. Yeah, That's your seat. That's right. Okay. Bookmark. There you go then. Thanks. There's your choices. Smell of you. I think I'm having a hot flush. No. Where are you going? Your age. That's your age. It's the heat wave, Cal. Is it's it? It's the heat wave. Is I haven't noticed the, the heat wave. The heat wave? Yeah. I could have got my sunglasses that have dug up out of them. You could have. The ones that I found on the beach the other night, I could have brought the rooms over. Okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How's everybody coping with this heat? I'm a winter girl. Mm. I prefer winter. I don't like this. Yeah. No. That's because you're red pad. Yes. You're even in a pair of shorts today, aren't I you? I am. I can't remember and when I last wore an actual pair of shorts. An actual pair of shorts? An actual. As opposed to... Imaginary. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'm wearing shorts as well. Yeah, they don't go with my t-shirt, but hey. Doesn't matter. Nobody can see them. You all can only see the top half, it's all yeah. good. <laughs> right, so this is our weigh-in. We didn't do one last week. That's right. Because? We were busy. Right. We've been really busy because we had Mum's birthday, which you all saw. Yeah. Then we had uh, the Devon County show, which you've all seen. And then we went on a rally which you did see and then it disappeared because I realised I put the wrong unedited version up rather than the edited version. That's true. So that'll go yeah, up Yeah, because there's actually more to that video yeah. than maybe you might have seen. Mm -hmm. So you've taken it down, have you? Yeah. And you're going to resubmit it, yeah. but with all the extra bits. Because yeah. we did a, a metal detecting on the beach as well, which we added to the end of that. Yeah. So... So we've been out and about, and I think it's been very tricky to be on plan for a number of reasons. Uh, and it all started with birthday cake. Started. It started with a cake. It did. Started with a cake. Yeah. Yeah. And I just think it's been tricky since. I think once, sometimes, sometimes when we have like... Before when we did this, we had special occasions. We were really focused and we'd have like, mm. if it was our birthdays, we'd have a three course Slimming World meal, wouldn't we, yeah. at home, mm. um, including a Slimming World pudding. And this time, when it's someone's birthday, we have cake. I think, <laughs> I think for me, I think my problem is, um, I think like I said to you before actually, is that I thought I was... I was fine. I'm fine now. I've got this. It's all, you know, I'm in the zone and nothing's going to sway me. Mm. And then we started with your mum's cake. Mm. I think that's how it started. And for me, it's just triggered it off again. Yeah. You know, and you think you're in a safe place and a safe zone and that then you realise that actually you're not. Um, and then you think, well, it's okay. And this is how I've been is I've thought, well, it's okay because I can crawl that back, you know, claw it back and carry on as normal. But it's crept in. This, these feelings of, um, you know, so I've been out with Abby a couple of times and thought, you know, when you're having a, well, and we've had a few of these because we have been actually, we've been out detecting quite a bit in the evenings, haven't we? Yeah. Um, on the beach when, Just when cool it's down. actually a bit cooler. Yeah. Um, and you're, you just sort of soaking up the atmosphere, or, you know, because it's nice cool weather, beautiful views, nice cool breeze, you know, great company. Um, and you just think, do you know what, I, you know, how to finish this day off now? Why don't we go and have, because um, there's a pub by the beach, actually. I fancy um, half a pint of shandy, actually. So we went and did that, and it's and it's almost like. Yeah, but that's okay because that's only four cents. It is actually, so so that so was all okay. right to do, but um. But it almost turned into shandy and chips. <laughs> yeah, because I did. I uh, and this is how I am. 
is I went to the bar, ordered a couple of um, half pints of Shando, mm. and I came back out and I said to Laura, do you know, I'm really, I've, I almost, almost ordered some sh chips for us to share as well. Because again, it was that thing where I felt, oh, we're by the beach and it's nice and sunny and I feel a little bit hungry and I'm just thinking about salt and vinegar and the smell and like sensations and things. It's, it's very odd. Yeah, because I'd been nicked by the seagulls anyway. Well, yeah, this this is why I didn't buy them because I thought, well, the seagulls would probably have them. And, it yeah. has been tricky. Today, yeah. everything is measured, the milk's measured, the bread the bread has been weighed as well, by the way. Uh, by mm -hmm. the way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, everything's been written down, everything's been counted. We've had Thai sweet chilli burgers for dinner. Yeah, we've had those before, haven't we? We've, we've had, had before. So you did those as a viewer's choice? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We had them again. And I yeah. made enough to put a, two burgers in the freezer mm -hmm. because we're planning on a bit of a beach barbecue. and. It's planning ahead. So now I know that we have our burgers that we can take with us. Mm. I know what sins they are. Um, yeah. And it's just like planning ahead now like that. So we can have one of those sort of nice moments. Yeah. That you can soak up the atmosphere. Mm. But one that's on plan. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Why not? I don't, I don't really, I don't really understand where, where it can go wrong for us. I do. Do you? Mm. I've got a Christmas party to go to on Thursday. Yeah, we haven't we haven't done that yet. Oh. Where does it where does it yeah, but where no, really, seriously. It's like because I start with something and then it's like a domino effect. Mm. I'm not talking about the pizza place. No. Although I could be talking about the pizza place. But no, I mean We didn't no, have dominoes. No. It's a domino effect where, you know, it's like a snowball. It yeah. just gets bigger. Yeah. And I, I don't know why that happens, really. And I, I sometimes... I think because you get a taste for it. Yeah. That's why you've got a taste for do it. You, do you think that we encourage each other? Yeah. Sometimes? Yeah. So I can say, oh, I really fancy that, and you, and you just... And then you, you, this is this is totally true. So I say, oh, really fancy that, and you go, go on then. So then you're giving me. So it's your fault. So you're giving you're giving Wake me. Wake up! <laughs> you've got your own mind. I am, but you're giving me the go ahead because I'm saying, oh, really fancy that, and you go on then. Or, or somebody else will offer me something. Uh huh. Yeah. And say, for instance, because this has happened, strawberries, uh, the little meringues that you can have because they're only this big and they're only a few cents, so that's that's okay. And some ice cream. And I'll be in the kitchen and you'll be elsewhere. And my mother will say to you, Laura, would you like some ice cream with that? Yeah. Maybe not in that accent or with that high pitched voice because I don't really think she speaks like that, but you know what I mean. And I go, What's Cap having? <laughs> yeah. So that happens often as well. But then in my head, mm. well, Cap's having it, therefore I can have it. Hmm. So, but then again, we I know that we've got our own brain. Yeah, but it's almost it. like, it's almost like you're looking for somebody to say, no, you can do that, that's okay, because, or, I'm doing it, so therefore, yeah. you can do it, or, or... I think... And then it's difficult, then, to then try and bring yourself back in. Having said that, though, having said that, um, having said that, I do... We have been on plan, I would say, a lot of the time, I'm not... It sounds like we've been going haywire. We haven't, not at all. We've been on plan with the majority of our meals, I would say, yeah, probably 90% of the week, on both weeks. Mm. But it's just the, you know, not, not quite sinning everything, maybe. 
so we might have just gone over a little bit with our sins but having having like on plan meals i suppose it doesn't really matter whether you have on plan meals or not well you you're i'm sorry am i talking too much no you're limiting your the damage aren't you by having on plan meals for every argument there's going to be a counter argument mm. isn't there so well it's a, it's like an excuse exactly it? it's like well, it's because of this. Exactly. So you saying, oh, it's your fault. Actually, you are your own person. And you make your own decisions. Yeah but, I say a... it very... yeah, but I do say it tongue-in-cheek. I know. There's always like... Like um... Like that. Tongue-in-cheek. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. And the whole... But all our, mi- all our <laughs> meals were on plan. It's just the other things. But then there's the argument of if all your meals are on plan, why would you then... You're talking damage limitation, and I'm thinking um, sabotage, which is the other side of the coin. That's true, actually. So for every so argument, depends, there's a counter-argument. It depends how you look at it. Mm. So Whereas, are you kind of making it okay by saying damage limitation because our meals were on plan, or are you thinking mm. sabotage because we then wouldn't have had sins? That, that, which we shouldn't yeah. have had. And maybe that... There's, so it's, there's it's, it's a think mind, so, so it's yeah, so it's a mind thing. So yeah, mind games. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. It's mind games. So I need to stop and have a cup of tea now because it's my, my we do, bra- um, I think my brain's imploded. Should we do this? Let's Right, okay. Sorry about that. Fuel Bye-bye. choice. Yes. Free food on the go. Um because It's free. That's a good thing. Because A it's in free. Yeah. B, I do not want to be in the kitchen for too long because it's absolutely melting in here. Mm. Um, and C, hopefully I'm going to be on C, the phone. C, because like, my name's Catherine, so yeah. Yes. C. A, adorable. Right, let's see. Kath's chosen these. I have. And the first one Kath chose mm. was... I'm not really sure why I chose this, to be honest. Picnickers. Right. Picnics. Right, okay. Okay, if you say so. Mini meat loaves with tomato glaze. We've had these before. I think we have had these we before. We have definitely very, had these before. A very long time ago. Yes. Yeah. They are very, very nice. Mm. Um, and that tomato glaze is really nice as well. Great for lunch boxes, picnics, work, pack ups if you're still working pack in the up. street. Pack up, pack lunch. Yeah. Pack up. Big yeah. troubles in yeah. your own. Yeah. That was going through my head. Right, so that's number one, is the mini meatloaves with tomato glaze. Um, choice number two, spiced aubergine and lentil salad. Mm. I'll tell you why I chose that one. There we go. Because it's got aubergine, aubergine in the fridge. <laughs> yeah. And I, do you know what? We I'm, like aubergine. I actually really like aubergines. Mm. And I don't think we eat enough of them. Mm-mm. I like them. I don't nice. know what sumac is. S-U-M-A-C. Ah. Uh, Right, okay. I've not read this properly again, have I? Why, what is it? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> don't know. And there's a spice there I've never heard of. Okay. So we definitely don't have those two items. What's the spice? Are you supposed Baharat to be reading... Baharat or Ras El Hennout. Right, okay. Anyway, I'm supposed to be reading the blurbs, aren't yeah. I? Yeah. So I'll go back. Oh, right, okay. So the mini meat loaves. Yeah. These marvellously meaty mini loaves can be made with beef, pork or turkey mince, so whichever's reduced on the day, and they're topped with a tantalisingly tangy tomato sauce. Oh. Spiced aubergine Posh. and lentil salad. Yeah. The delicate spices in the sumptuous salad will guarantee you a little Mediterranean magic, whatever the weather. They like their... Uh... Alliteration. Yes, they yeah. do. That was the word I was thinking of. Yeah. Yes. So that's the second one. The third one is another cat choice, and it is pasta e fagioli. Fagioli? Fagioli. It's not fagioli. It says it. No, it's not. It's pasta. Ah. I have to read it, actually. Ah. Pasta el fagioli. Fagioli. Okay. Something like that. Okay. Not fagioli. Fudge. Olly. <laughs> Fudgy Olly. Okay. Yeah. Jolly. So, more tinned things here. So, tinned cannelloni or bolotti beans. Can I just say, I do apologise to anybody that speaks Italian. 
Um, I would I, know. I'd probably mess that right up. But yeah. Sorry, carry on. Pasta and beans are at the heart of this rustic Italian soup, which is also known as pasta fazool by many Italian Americans. So, nice hot, nice cold, simply lots of yeah. beans. And that's seafood. actually that's actually, believe it or not, would be quite nice like at room temperature. Mm. Quite often, a lot of the pastry type dishes are nicer. Not, room not hot, but cool, or actually cold. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So to recap. Really? Have we got to recap again? Yeah, because okay. we didn't do the ham thing. Number one, mini meatloaves with tomato glaze. Easy for you to say. Number two, spiced aubergine and lentil salad. Number three, pasta e fagioli. 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 Those are your choices. You pick which one you want to see us make. We'll yeah. make it for you, film it for you, and eat it for you. We will. Yes. Happy in the knowledge that it's all sim free. Yes. Right. Shall we? Uh, bum, 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 bum. Go on then. Me? Yeah. Go on. Okay. Here is my board. You see that? Is it even? Here is my board. Okay. I don't know what you want to say. Oh, I was going to get you just to make it up. I'm making this up. Here's the number two. And um, these are my things that like to hang here. And these are the other things that really like to hang there. <laughs> I don't know. Like that. I don't know. Right, okay. Now, now, now. That, that, now, now. That's up for interpretation, that whole spiel you just did. I stepped I'm on the scale. I'm just absolute tosh. That's what I'm doing. Tired. And I gained weight, which is no surprise after the massive disclaimer we just did. I am clinging on to my three mm. stone award. Clinging on by a thread. I am clinging oh, on you just I gained thread. two pounds and Sorry. to be honest with you, that's fine. <laughs> I put on weight because I ate stuff. I ate stuff that I didn't count. I wasn't keeping an eye on things. I mean, this is um, this is over a two week period as yeah. well, isn't it? It's not a one week period. It's a two week period. I'm not walking as much. We we have gained both weeks, haven't we? Mm. Yeah, so, because this is over the two week period. I'm not yeah. walking as much because Lexi's gone on a little holiday. Yeah. So I'm not having my three forty minute dog walks. But again, with every argument, there's a counter argument. I could just go out the door and have a walk. You could do, but it's not the same. No. See, there's my argument. Yeah. It's not the same with that. It's nice. You know, you're sort of more, you're kind of forced into walking when you've got a dog to walk, because you have to. No way. So I gained two pounds over over two weeks. It is what it is. It's all my fault. On the yeah, app, when I inputted it, they asked me what I'd like to lose next week, and I thought, hey, I'll just put six pounds. Right. Well, good luck with that. Gives me something to aim towards. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm aiming high mm. for next week. And I have every faith now. I feel really determined. So you could just, you you manage to just turn it round. Whereas I'm a bit more like, I, I, I give up too easily, I think. But I get into these, this is what, this is how I am. I get into these pockets of having no enthusiasm for anything and the other thing with me as well is that i can only ever focus on one thing at a time mm. so you know i'll i think i think the last couple of weeks we've been really busy we've been going different places we don't normally go we have been doing quite a lot of metal detecting and we have upped our exercise in that sense um and I've been more focused on, on those kind of things, not focused on Slimming World, not at all. Um, and that there's one of my problems. Mm. I find that really quite difficult. Mm. But I need to go through the motions again, really, and hopefully it won't drag that on. I can get back into it, snap back. Yeah, you will. Of course you will. Yeah. Of course you right. will. Right. So anyway, talk too much. Here is my board. Two stone and... Five pounds. Two stone. Five pounds. Yeah. 
What are you doing? Oh, I'm doing the puzzle. Well, it's not so much now, it's right. Oh, that's good, Laura. You've already said that. So, yeah, uh, two stone and five pounds was my loss so far. I am now 11 stone. I'm now 11 stone five, which means I have gained. Hold on a minute. I'm 11 stone. No, I'm not. I'm 11 stone six. Which means I have gained. <laughs> Don't laugh, you'll shake them all off again. <clears throat> right, so I am 11 stone 6 now, which means I have gained £3 over the last two weeks. Yes, so I is. need to. I was getting so close. I was getting so close to that two and a half stone award. But it's like you said the other day. We have still come a long way. Mm. Haven't we? Mm. And I, I'm kind of... I'm. Although I know ultimately we need to get further in this journey. I'm okay to kind of just... Plod along. Settle a little bit. You know, I have a little rest. But not for long. Not no, for long. not for long. Not for long. I'm not having a rest. I'm carrying on. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I mean, I will carry on. But I mean, these last couple of weeks have been a bit, haven't they? Yeah. If they... Tough day. And like I said, this yeah. week I've got a Christmas party to go to. So that's going to be my that only barrier. Christmas party. We had to... Um, in... What are we in? July. We had to delay ours. Uh, due to unforeseen circumstances at work. Yeah. So we're having it. Um, we're having it on Thursday. That's going to be weird for you. Yeah, it will be, and I'm looking forward to it. But I'm also a little bit mindful of the food side of it because obviously we've not had a great couple of weeks. I don't want that to carry on. I'm going to be very mm. blinkered up until that day. It's um, like dragging it out, isn't it? Oh, it's another carvery. Mm. I won't have Yorkshire, I won't have stuffing, I probably won't even have gravy. I don't know. Mm. Merry Christmas. That's it, really. That is it. Yeah, I'm really sorry that you've had to listen to all this. Because sometimes it's quite boring, really, isn't it? To be fair. <laughs> Do you think? You just have to say your stuff. You got to be honest at the end of the day, don't you? But um, sometimes it's hard. To, it's hard to talk about, and sometimes it's hard to hear as well. Um, mm. not, I don't. I really don't like being in this position. But I know you don't. It took a lot of persuading to get you to come down to the kitchen. I didn't. I actually didn't want to do the video because I feel so. Um, This something. Disillusioned? No. Disarmed? We could be here a long time. We could be. <laughs> Down in the dumps. Yeah, I suppose disillusion, I suppose, by my own actions. But there we are. You've got to, you either say, well, that's it, I've had enough, I'm too tired of all this stuff, and I do get like that. Or you decide that you're going to pick yourself up and you're going to carry on.
and you know, like stuff in when, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. So I opt for the second wind. Yeah, I'm sure you would. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So even when even when you're feeling really dismayed over the way things are going, just you need to sort of just pause for a second and give yourself a bit of time and a bit of breather and a bit of a rethink and maybe even a bit of a rest just from your own head do you know what I mean? things often look different like the following day can often look different and you've got a bit more get up and go and enthusiasm for something never stop trying yeah. I think so on that note yeah i think that's enough mm. really don't you um thank you very much for joining us as ever i hope you are having a wonderful week on plan um if you're not then um you're not alone you know never think you're alone with that um because there's lots of other people that struggle to including me um, you can always comment, we will always respond to you, let us know how you're getting on. Um, other than that, have a great week, don't forget the sun cream because it is a boiling out there. Yes. We'll see you on the video. See you on the next one. Take care. Bye. Cheerio.